What's going on everybody, it's your commentator Rifle here, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering the Long Distance Relationship Sniper Rifle. Now that was a mouthful. Anyways, to get this started, what makes this weapon so unique? Let me just get straight to the point. It shoots through walls. This sniper rifle shoots through walls. Oh yeah. That's unique. That is unique. But anyways, it also comes in arc and solar. I mean, as far to my knowledge, that's the only two sniper rifle forms I've seen of the long distance relationship. So, only solar and arc, guys. And how I got the solar sniper rifle, well, I got it from a package. But I'm sure it comes as a loot drop as well, because you can get this as a random loot drop from pretty much anything. And not to mention, I was curious on what other kind of damage types this sniper rifle can come with. And I even went to Destinypedia, and it only said arc on the side as well. So I was like, what? It's not just arc. I've also seen in solar, so I'm not so sure on the void, but you guys will probably find out in the comments. But anyways, to get to the point... You can also buy this from the Vanguard Quartermaster easily, and it may be a pretty penny to buy, but hey, you just gotta do Vanguard. Just do bounties. Just level up your Vanguard. After you finish your bounties, try to do a little bit of patrol missions, and then do some strikes. You know, just switch it up. Switch it up. And get those Vanguard marks and that Vanguard commendation. And can't forget about the Vanguard Rank 3. But once you got all that, you can get this sniper rifle easy. But if you already have enough and you don't even know what the hell to even spend these points on, besides like relic iron, spirit bloom, spin metal, and helium filaments, and you know you get the point, like what am I spending this on? What can I? What's awesome? Can someone please tell me why well, I'm here to tell you, hey, I'm Rifle. And this is what you should spend those points on. Do is go up to this Vanguard Quartermaster and say, you know what, I'm going to scroll down to this long distance relationship, and I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to buy it. And after I buy it, I'm going to upgrade all the way to 331 damage. Yeah, I said that. The impact may not look so pretty on this sniper rifle, but once again, it is a sniper rifle. It's going to do some damage. And it doesn't matter if you're playing in PvP. What the hell does impact matter with a sniper rifle? You're still going to kill them in two shots or one shot in the head. Unless you're playing Iron Baron, that's a little bit of a different story. That's not fair. And this sniper rifle does shoot through walls in PvP. And boy oh boy is it fun. Especially if you're in a sniper fight with another sniper. You're like, alright, I'm gonna wait for you to come out of this wall. And once you come out, and I can see you through this doorway, I'm gonna shoot you in the head. I got my sights lined up. And you know what you do? You just aim your sights right through the wall where his head would be. You know, through the wall and shoot him. Or just, you know, shoot a lot through the wall. And sooner or later you might hit him and kill him, you know? It's freaking awesome. And it leads them, like, stunned. They're like, whoa, what happened? Did he shoot me through the wall? And then he gets all pissed. And he comes back with a little bit of rage. And that can happen. But, you know, that's when you just kill him again, shoot him through the wall. Be awesome with the sniper rifle. That's what's unique about it. I keep saying it. Get the armor-piercing rounds on the sniper rifle. Anyways, the perks also on it is unflinching, which is also very useful in the PvP. I mean, should I just title this freaking awesome PvP sniper rifle? Nah, nah, I shouldn't. Because it's also awesome in the PvE world as well. I mean, think about it. Think about of all the useful areas you can use while taking out bosses. You could shoot through pretty much. Think about it. Just think about it. The possibilities are endless with the sniper rifle. One example of a possibility is you normally can't shoot through this window right here when you jump through this area. It's just like a little safe zone. But with the armor-piercing rounds, you can shoot through these windows just like... It looks like you can, because, <laughs> you know, this window is missing a piece, so it looks like I could shoot through it, but really you can't. It's like an invisible barrier there. As for the best scopes to use, I use the Agile scope, which is the Ambush scope. It seemed to work best for me with the zoom. I felt myself more comfortable with the Agile scope, but I guess it all depends on our preference. But I will admit something, the Agile scope is a very quick scope zoom. It can be very handy for tight situations, especially in PvP. It also has a mid-range zoom and a long-range zoom as well. And not to mention, it does have the high-caliber rounds and the skip rounds, but overall, I would prefer the armor-piercing rounds over those two. And lastly but not least, the solid up this sniper rifle, it has the clown cartridge perk, which what this does, it'll allow you to have five shots in your mag instead of four. So it switches it up, and an extra shot isn't going to hurt. But overall, this LDR 5001 is worth getting and is worth what it takes. I highly recommend this sniper. And I had to share it with you guys just because it's also 
easy to get your hands on right now. And I don't know how long this might be easy to get our hands on, but right now it's freaking easy to get our hands on and I don't think it's going to switch up anytime soon. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. I thought it might be useful for you all. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if the video was enjoyable, please remember to leave a like. It is much appreciated by me, but I'm out of here, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. I got it, though. No problem. I'm going to take a quick swim. You can just be cool, you know.